perhaps no other province in the Philippines can claim to achieve a record of having many firsts as the province of Iloilo. This list, which is by no means complete, includes some of the vignettes of history that make for the grandeur and glory that is Iloilo. By making this compilation, I hope to bring you an exquisite splendor as we relive the glorious past through the great events and great achievements of notable men and women, and thus, though briefly, comes before the chamber for an eventful encounter with history. The Firsts of Iloilo Molo Iloilo, the oldest Chinese settlement in the country. When the Spaniards came to Iloilo in 1570, they reported that a large Chinese community already existed in the place. The first Christian church in the islands was erected in Halawud by Martin de Rada in 1566. Halawud is now the barangay of Ermita in the Mangas. Oton Iluilo The first seat of the Alcalde de Panay with the jurisdiction over Panay, Romblon, and Western Negros in 1570. The first school for boys in the country was founded in Tigbao in 1592 by the famous Jesuit priest historian Father Pedro Chirino. The first intrusion by the British into the Philippines was in 1587 when Thomas Cavendish attacked the Arevalo shipyard in an attempt to destroy the galleon Santiago which was then under construction. Niagao Church The oldest Christian church in Western Visayas and the only church in the region to be declared a National Historical Landmark and UNESCO World Heritage Site. The province that produced the biggest quantity of textile during the Spanish era. The first province to have a foreign firm, Loney and Company and the first British Vice Consulate in 1856. The first province to export sugar directly to Australia, Britain, Canada, and United States starting in 1859. The first province to import machineries directly from Europe starting in 1863. The first American vice consulate in the Philippines, established in 1864, with Wright B. Loring as the first U.S. vice consul in Iloilo. The first province to have a Protestant community, a Protestant cemetery was established at Iloilo in 1866. Colegio de San Jose, the oldest existing college in Western Visayas, founded in 1872. Libreria La Panayana, the first bookstore in the Visayas and Mindanao, established in 1877 by Mariano Perfecto. Hoskins, the first department store in the country, established in 1877 by Herbert Peter, Henry, and Franklin Hoskins. First bank outside Manila, the Iloilo branch of the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, established in April 2, 1883. The first provincial branch of the Chartered Bank opened on April 4, 1883. The first newspaper and printing press outside the zone. El Porvenir de Visayas, founded in 1884 by Diego Jimenez Frades. The first and now the oldest Almana in the Visayas and Mindanao, Almana Wanayan, founded by Mariano Perfect in 1884. 
the first province to have a cosmopolitan or international business community. By the 1880s, Iloilo already had vice consulates or consular agencies for Great Britain, United States, Switzerland, Portugal, Sweden, Denmark, Belgium, France, Netherlands, and Germany. Aside from citizens of these countries, there were also Lebanese, Chinese, Indians, Armenians, and other nationalities in Iloilo. The only province to have two cities during the Spanish time. Iloilo City, inaugurated on February 7, 1890, and Haro, chartered on March 7, 1891. The first city after Manila to have direct shipping lines to Australia, Hong Kong, China, Singapore, Europe, and America. The first province to have a college offering courses in commerce, engineering, chemistry, arts, and trades. The Escuela Profesional de Oficios y Artes, founded by Royal Order on May 9, 1890. The biggest province in population, income, and economic production during the whole 19th century. The first city outside Manila to have a telephone system starting June 1, 1894, covering Iloilo, La Paz, Haro, Manduriao, and Molo. The first provincial capital to have electricity starting in 1890. The first provincial branch of the Banco Español Filipino de Isabel II, now Bank of the Philippine Islands, opened in 1897. The oldest machine shop in the south, Talier Bisayas de Sarachan and McMurray, first established in the 1890s and incorporated in 1919. The first province outside the zone to fly the Filipino national flag on November 17, 1898, in Santa Barbara, during the inauguration of the revolutionary government of the Visayas. The biggest army outside Luzon during the Philippine Revolution and the Filipino-American War, headed by General Martin Delgado. The oldest bakery in the Visayas and Mindanao, Panaderia de Molo, established in 1899 by Marshana Hasson. The first hospital put up by the Americans in the Philippines, Iloilo Mission Hospital, founded in 1900s. The first Baptist church in the Philippines, Haro Evangelical Church, organized in 1901. The first public elementary school during the American Regime, Baluarte Elementary School in Molo, founded by Rosendo Mexica in 1901. The first provincial public high school in the country, Iloilo High School, organized in 1902. The first nursing school in the islands, Nurses Training School of Iloilo Mission Hospital, now, CPU College of Nursing, founded in 1906, it turned out the first Filipino graduate nurses in 1909. The first and only railway line outside Luzon, Philippine Railway Company, constructed starting 1906. The oldest school paper in the Philippines, the Central Echo of Central Philippine University, first published in 1916. The first Filipino-Chinese Association, the Iluido Filipino-Chinese Chamber of Commerce, formed in 1911. The first concrete road in the country, the Montenola Highway, from the Forbes Bridge to Haro Plaza, cemented in 1910 with cement imported from Japan. The first car assembly plant in the Philippines, 
owned by Talier besides the Strachan and McMurray, which assembled the German car Daimler in the 1920s. The first golf club in Asia, Iloilo Golf and Country Club in Santa Barbara, Iloilo. The oldest press club in the Philippines, Iloilo Press Club, founded in 1936 by Ezequiel Villalobos. The first gravity irrigation system outside the zone, Santa Barbara Irrigation System, constructed in 1924. Jose Tinsay the first Filipino to fly an airplane for passengers in 1925, flying between Iloilo and Negros. The first commercial airline in the country, the Iloilo Negros Air Express Company. Its inaugural flight from Iloilo to Manila was on February 3, 1933, with a Stetson 3 motor plane. The first luxury ship in the inter-island service, the SS Don Esteban of the Dalyarama Lines, built in 1935 at Kiel, Germany, at the cost of more than 1 million pesos. The first and biggest sugar bulk handling plant in Asia, owned by Vistranco at Jordan Guimaras. The first Filipino bishop, Felipe Molina y Figueroa, who was born in Arevalo in 1672 and became Bishop of Nueva Caceres in 1723. The first Filipino to launch the propaganda movement in Spain, Graciano Lopez Jaina, founder of La Solidaridad. 